what's good everybody today i'm going to be continuing my skyblock series if you guys remember last episode i couldn't make stone for the life of me Idiot. um it kept being obsidian but we're gonna jump straight into it and figure it out today um i really want to get stuff going so hopefully this is the episode where i figure out my stone situation um and yeah i don't know why i'm getting wood right now we have another objective to focus on i to focus on how to get stone so I believe not gonna lie to you guys I looked up how to do it not even gonna lie had to um, I think if you put ice here let it flow and then it flows into the lava that should work I think if it doesn't the series is done Really, nigga? In which we are going to be taking a look at one of Minecraft's most famous game modes, Skyblock. And then on one side or the other, in the middle of these blocks, the second block over, dig down one more block. And that is the side where you need to place the water, or in this case, the ice. We can break this block of ice with a block underneath it. It will convert into a water source. And over here on this side, you place the lava bucket. And when the two of those collide in the middle, they make cobblestone. Of course, the reason you need to have the water flowing downwards into the hole is so the water doesn't flow across and turn the lava into obsidian. Finally, we have stone. Whew. Now we can continue. I got it right. So we're gonna craft this wooden pickaxe here. Get some stone. Bow. Okay. I'm just honestly happy that I finally got stone going. Like. I could not, I tried every method. Somehow the, the, the video I looked up, he just knew how to do it. Bro's a professional. He's a professional Skyblock player. Uh, I wish my stone would, would stop burning, like come on. Are you serious right now, bro? Mm -hmm. 